Hello everybody, this is Overboy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the new movie, Spider-Man Far From Home. Um, I'm going to keep this brief and not really go into spoilers or anything, because this movie just came out. I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen it yet. Um, but, uh, pretty much, uh, this movie, uh, follows Peter and his class as they go, uh, on vacation in Europe uh, and everything and Nick Fury recruits Peter uh, to team up with um, Quentin Beck uh, also known as Mysterio to take on the elementals and that's all I'm gonna say about the movie because it I don't want to spoil it for anybody like I said um, not everything I talked about pretty much was just showed in the trailers. It's not really running in anything. Um, but I thought this was a very, very good movie. I was very impressed with it and everything. I, I liked Homecoming quite a bit, although I thought it did have some continuity errors. But I still enjoyed that one quite a bit and everything. And I've loved Tom Holland in the MCU since, uh his debut in Captain America Civil War and everything. I think he gives his best performance in this this one. Um, I think it's his best performance as, as Peter and Spider-Man to date. Um, and it's just a, a really, really good movie. It, it was really fast paced. It, it I think it was close to two and a half hours. I'm not exactly sure how long it is, but it, it went by really fast. Um, and it didn't seem to be near as long as it really was and everything um, and everything for some reason I wasn't extremely hyped for this movie I don't know why maybe it's just because uh, after Endgame I couldn't see how they could do anything that was just so amazing and stuff I guess maybe uh, Endgame really felt like a good finale but th this was a really really good way to follow up in game and everything yeah, I wasn't disappointed at all I actually liked it even more than I expected and I figured it was going to be good I mean I didn't think it was going to suck or anything but um, I think the cast was uh, really good in this like I said Tom Holland I think gives his best performance in this one his Spider-Man Peter Parker um, Zendaya is in this movie a lot more than she was and it makes her role in the first movie a lot better to me. I, I've never really had anything against her. I kind of had a feeling in the first movie that the way things kind of ended that she was going to play a much bigger role in this movie and everything. I know everybody was complaining about her being pointless and everything. I'm like, yeah, I think they're trying to save her more for the sequel and it's pretty much what they did and everything. But I actually really liked her in this. I think her and Tom Holland have really great chemistry. And I know a lot of people don't like her because she's pretty much playing Mary Jane and everything. And she's not white and everything. I know there's a lot of racist people that are mad about that. And she's not technically Mary Jane, but uh, she goes by MJ and everything. Her name's Michelle Jones, but they... But I, I thought she was really good at in this and everything. Um, the kid that plays Ned, um, I think he's really great in this again. Um, really funny. And uh, Betty Brant, who is a small parent, so I think she's played by Agnerice Rice, I think is her name. She has, I can't remember her name for sure, but she she's actually in this movie a lot more than she was in the first, in the last movie she she was in it quite a bit but she just was kind of a, a side like a background character she was they showed her appearing on the TV at the school and everything but she wasn't in, in it very much but she's actually in this movie a lot I was really surprised by that um, and there's a, another character I don't know if he's new or not I don't think he was in Homecoming but he's a kind of a rival for Peter. Peter's wanting to get with MJ, but he's kind of wanting to get with MJ too, so he's kind of a rival. I can't remember what his name is either. I think his name was Brad 
Um, I don't think he was in the in there and everything. And then, of course, uh, the uh, Flash Thompson is in this and everything. I didn't think he. I don't really get why everybody is so annoyed by Flash Thompson because I don't think he's really that bad. I mean, yeah, he's kind of a jerk and everything, but in this movie he wasn't even that big of a jerk. He was just likable. He was he was a little bit more likable and stuff. And I didn't I didn't really see see why he gets so much hate and everything outside of his race. And I know a lot of people were mad because like with Zendaya he's not a white not played by a white kid. But I thought Flash was good as well. Um Samuel Jackson is pretty good as Nick Fury. This is kind of a different take and once you see the movie you'll understand what I mean. I'm not gonna say anything else about that, but I think he was I think this is a interesting way of seeing Nick Fury because it, it, it's different. It's different seeing how he interacts with Spider Man than he does with all of the other MCU characters. I'll just say that. Um Maria Hill's in there, she doesn't have too much to do, but she, she's good. Um, Colby Smolders does a good job playing her still. And uh, Jake Gyllenhaal plays Quentin Beck, who is the villain of the movie, Mysterio. And I was really, really impressed. That, that's another reason I think my hype wasn't extremely high for this, because I just couldn't picture him as Mysterio and everything. And I, he was absolutely wonderful. I think he's one of the best casted villains in of the Spider-Man movies in a long time and I think he was also really I mean Michael Keaton was great as Vulture but I, I think that uh, J. John Hall was even better as a villain in this one um, and everything um, I personally think this was a lot better than Homecoming uh, and everything I like how they kind of do a lot of well no I'm not going to say because I don't I haven't really done a spoiler review for Endgame. I don't want to get into spoilers, although I'm sure everybody's seen Endgame. I'm, I'm going to save that for a different video to talk. Oh, I might do a spoiler review for this one too, where I talk about this one and Endgame a little bit, but um, the connections and stuff, but um, John Favreau is, plays Happy Hogan. I think he's really good in this too. I think it's, it's probably his best performance is Happy Hogan. I mean, this is probably the one where he's in it the most. Yeah, I thought Aunt Maeve was still not in there enough, but she's still good. It's still really hard getting used to Aunt May being a MILF, but um, she's she's good and everything. And the score by Michael Giacchino is really good. I think he did a really great job with the music and everything on it. And I think John Waltz did a really great job directing it and everything. I think this had some better action scenes and stuff than the last movie. Or a lot better action scenes. This, this one felt a lot bigger than the, the last one. Because the, the Homecoming felt like a pretty small movie. Like a small John Hughes teen comedy with superhero elements added to it. And this one feels a lot more like a more like an adventure movie and everything and it's just it's just a whole lot of fun and everything um, and I think that Chris McKenna and Eric Summers did a great job writing the script and everything um, I think they did a really good job with this movie and, uh, and I definitely think this is better than Homecoming which I do like Homecoming a lot more uh, re-watching it recently I, I've raised it up on my uh, ranking list, which I'm going to be doing new rankings for the Spider-Man franchise and the MCU, so I'll, I'll have those up probably I might have the MCU one up later tonight, um, or tomorrow I'm not for sure yet, but I'll have more of those uh, have some updated top 10 lists and stuff that I've done before I'm going to be updating them because of this movie and everything I, I think this is just a really, really great movie, another great one for the MCU and everything it's one of the I think it's one of easily one of the best in the MCU and um, this was the Spider-Man movie I've been waiting for for a very long time I think it, it was the best Spider-Man movie since uh, 
Spider-Man 2 in 2004. But this is this is the one I've been waiting for for a very long time. It was just a blast from start to finish and um, everything. So it's uh, I I'd say I'd give it a 10 out of 10. It, it's just a really really great movie and everything. And if you, if you're a fan of Spider-Man, I definitely recommend it, especially if you like this MCU version of him. If you don't like the MCU version of him, you probably won't like it. But um, if if you do, I think you'll you'll enjoy it and everything. And it's definitely worth checking out and everything. So uh, anyway, that's my review for Spider-Man: Far From Home. I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, thank you all, and have a good day.